Five and only on News 5, local food banks and hunger centers are speaking out over concerns about the state's food stamp cards. There's a proposal out there that could require a photo to be on the cards, and many are worried that the change could actually hurt the families that need the help most. News 5's Megan Hickey has the story. Tuesdays are pretty busy at the Brookside Hunger Center. Oatmeal, granola. Run by the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. Many clients here make ends meet through Ohio's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP. And they come here once their SNAP cards have run out of funds. 13,000 people a month are coming to us for food. But John Litton worries that that number will only increase if the proposal to require photo IDs becomes reality. That number would only increase in a way that I'm not sure is sustainable if less people are able to take advantage of their SNAP benefits, benefits that they are entitled to. Linton and others like Colleen Benson from the Akron-Canton Regional Food Bank argue that the requirements could keep clients away from SNAP altogether if they're being forced to show their picture every time they buy groceries. They'll pay for it in the form of anxiety at the grocery store, having less dignity and being able to feed their families. There's confusion over how different family members in the household will be able to use the cards, especially kids and caretakers who might be unrelated. So what you're going to have is some people who are required to abide by this photo ID and some who are not again creating confusion. Maine and Massachusetts have already moved to the photo ID system. But one Massachusetts study found the program cost more money than it saved and hurt clients' abilities to use the benefits. You're talking about the hungriest of the hungry, uh, neediest of the needy, who would be most penalized. Again, that was Megan Hickey reporting. State Auditor Dave Yost argues that the change is vital to curbing millions of dollars in potential fraud.